Now, because of your age, because of your background, do you find that you have a different style towards coaching? How do you motivate your players? Well, we, we try to be progressive as a staff. The one thing about working for Coach Riley for 14 years, uh, that's part of my fabric. I do believe in the Miami Heat culture, I believe in the philosophy, I believe in the way Pat Riley did things uh, for his 25 year career. Uh, and I try to instill a lot of those values and, and philosophies into the way I coach. Uh, but with that said, I, I am different. I, I have a different personality, uh, a different way of doing things. Even though we may get to the same point, it's just a, a, a different way. Like what were the things that you took from Coach Riley and what were the things that you added? to the coaching style that you were used to? Well, we're always going to be a defensive-minded okay. basketball team, and, and that's what he's always known for. We've believed, and he's believed uh, since he was at the Lakers, that defense wins championships. Uh, he's a believer in discipline, uh, in teamwork, um, and in working together. Uh, those things I, I definitely want to bring uh, uh, to this team. Uh, I am a little younger, so sometimes the communication and the way we coach our players uh, is a little bit different. Uh, but I think uh, essentially I would feel very proud if people turned on a Miami Heat game uh, and said after the game that it looked like a, a Pat Riley coach team. Oh, that would be a compliment. I, I would take that as a compliment, okay. very much so. Now you have players like Dwayne Wade, you have a rookie in BZ. How do they make things easier for you? Well, Dwayne is, has been so invaluable for me. And uh, I was an assistant coach uh, since he was a rookie. Okay. And we developed a, a very strong bond. Uh, over those years, we worked uh, very closely together, uh, working on his skills and also spending time off the court. Um, and that really helped. Once I got the job, uh, he was a friend to me okay. and, and helped me get through the door and helped me get some respect from the players, the new players in particular that we had. Uh, I'll never forget, and I'll be uh, indebted to him always, uh, before training camp started, he brought the team together uh, for a dinner. Uh, to let them know what they could expect from me since he knew me since so he well. Since you knew you well yeah. since you guys were friends. And then also what to expect uh, from the Miami Heat culture. And, you know, that more than anything helped me uh, uh, initially in training camp. So how do you bond with your players? Like, for example, D-Wade, how do you bond with him? Well, I think it takes time. Uh, it can't be artificial. It can't be forced. Uh, um, I think one of the biggest things I've stressed not only with myself but with the staff is to, to be yourself. You know, I, I, as much as I respect and would love to be like Pat Riley, okay. I mean, who wouldn't? Uh, he's, he's amazing. He's an icon. And the way he coaches, uh, the way he communicates, uh, his leadership skills, uh, I would love to be able to do so many of the things that he can do. Uh, it, it just comes natural to him. Uh, my style is different. And, and if I tried to be uh, like him, I think it would come across as disingenuous to the players. Um, and so I, I think we've, we've bridged some of, uh, of the gaps with our players just by trying to be uh, ourselves and communicate you know, okay. as much as we can. All right, yourself would be, I'm sorry, but I'm trying to think about what kind of coach you'd be. When you say be yourself, what are you being? Uh, I, I, I don't know. Um, you know, I do believe in discipline. I believe in hard work. I believe in stressing uh, all the important things in basketball. And uh, from time to time, yes, I, I do get uh, pretty intense. Um, and basketball sometimes uh, at the, in the NBA can bring out the best in you. It can also bring out the worst in you. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a blend of uh, old school coaching and, and new school um, coaching and, and a little bit progressive. I'm closer in age, uh, so sometimes there can be a little bit different communication uh, because I understand a little bit of their culture and, and, and the age gap isn't, isn't very, very big. All right, now you did mention that even though you want to stick to Pat Riley's philosophies, what's the number one thing probably that's new and fresh that you're bringing into the team? Oh, I know one thing that he sees that's different. Uh, before every practice, uh, on our stereo in the, in the gym, okay. I, I play uh, Tupac. Come on, come on. I see no changes. Wake up in the morning and I ask myself, is life worth living? Should I blast myself? I'm tired of being poor and even worse. I'm black. My stomach hurts, so I'm looking for a purse to snatch. Do you like Tupac? I'm a big fan oh, of Tupac. Hey. <laughs> and Coach Riley just does not understand that. Well, he doesn't like Tupac. He's a big fan of Bruce Springsteen. He didn't even know who Tupac was. He wanted me to play uh, Bruce Springsteen. And, uh, you know, many people and the players thought I was playing Tupac uh, to inspire them. But, but you for, were just playing it for yourself. Yeah, the, I told the, the players on the team, I said, that five minutes, 
uh, at the start of practice, that's uh, what we call to motivate the motivator. Mm, I see, I <laughs> see. And, uh, so you have five minutes going. for yourself. Yeah.